Right, in this video we are going to talk about how to save over £300 with a very simple bit of DIY sailing boat magic. Um, before I do, you haven't probably heard from you, you guys haven't heard from Carly and I for a couple of days now or a week or so because we have obviously been swept up in this whole COVID-19 craziness just the same as everybody else has. But we're fit and well. We, so far, uh, touch wood, so far neither one of us have got any COVID-19 symptoms. How about you? You still be still feeling alright? Yeah, we're all good. <laughs> we are all good. So yeah, no, just wanted to touch base, let you know we're fine. Really hoping everybody else out there, because we are clearly all in this together, so hoping everyone else is staying safe and staying well. Right, back to the video. So I set myself a challenge after getting a quote from Volvo Penta in the marina to service our sail drive which came in at a whopping £445 all in, but I set myself a challenge as a completely non-mechanically able-minded, skilled person. I, I have precisely zero experience of anything mechanic. So I decided to set a challenge to see if I could do this job myself, hopefully save a bit of money, hopefully learn a little bit more about the mechanical aspects of our sailing boat, and I thought what better place to start than diving into the big wide world of the interwebs. Anything at all that I could find to help me tackle this project. And this video will hopefully show you how that went. The good, the bad and the ugly. And here's, here's the thing to take away from this. If I manage to not screw this up, anybody, and I do mean anybody, can service their own sail drive. But let's, let's see how it goes. Okay, right, so before... Got your miles away. Let me bring you in, bring you in. There we go. Okay, so to give you a little bit more context to the story, let me take you back in time very quickly to last year. Now, last year I was gonna do one of those sailing boat specific diesel engine maintenance courses, and at the very last minute, I decided not to. And what I actually did is I got hold of a Volvo Penta specialist and paid him to come down to our sailing boat and do a full engine service there and then. And what I also asked of the guy begged and pleaded, I said, would you mind holding my hand through the entire process and explaining to me bit by bit how to service our engine? Now, many people would think, well, you know, the guy's not gonna talk himself out of having a job in the future, and that makes perfect sense. But as I explained to the guy, John is his name, I'll pop his details below, so hopefully he gets some positive karma and some kickback from this. But as I explained to John, like when we set sail, whenever that might be right now, Amidst all this COVID craziness, who knows when that'll be. But when this collective cloud is lifted from all of our heads and we can get out there again, when Carly and I do go sailing, it's gonna be really important for me to at least have some familiarity with the sailing boat systems, the electrics, the plumbing, and of course the mechanical side of things as best as I can. So yes, it will save us some money when we're all over the world if I can service the engine myself regularly, but at the same time, again, just doing these kind of jobs will start to familiarize me more you know, with being in and around the engine and the mechanics of the boat. So then we got on to the sail drive. So when John was there and he was changing all the oil and the oil filters and whatnot, at the back he said, right, your sail drive, you'll probably want to change the oil in your sail drive. He said, I can do it now. I'll only be able to drain out probably about 80% of the oil in there. He said, or if you're having the boat lifted soon, when you have the boat put on the hard, that's a great time to drain the oil from the sail drive because you'll be able to get all of it out. And so I'm sat there nodding going, oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. He said, also, if you're gonna do that, he said, you know, you take the prop off, give the prop a clean, get everything cleaned down. He said, you know, it's probably not a bad time to give the sail drive a bit of love as well, give it a bit of a service, you know, take it apart, clean everything, change the O-rings, change the shaft seals. And again, I sort of like, yeah, all right, fair enough, I, I might do that. So we got the boat out, we got the boat on the hard, and that's when I gave Volvo a call, just the, just the local ones in the marina where we were. And that's when they gave us the quote, and it seemed like a huge amount of money. And so this was what really triggered me to think, oh, okay, well, there's all these amazing resources online. There's this amazing sort of genre, if you like, of sailing videos that are expanding all the time. And there's some real gems in there. So I thought maybe, just maybe, we can figure out how to do this ourselves. So that's how we ended up here in this sail drive challenge. Let's see how it goes. Okay, now before 
we go into any more detail about how I actually managed to get on with the practical application of servicing the sail drive, let's take a look at the quote we got from the Marina's on-site Volvo Penta representative. Let's break down that quote, see where the money's going, and see if there's anything we can do to perhaps even find the same bits online and try and save some money without really doing a great deal of anything because you will often find or we're certainly founding that the anywhere in a marina or on site you tend to pay a little bit of a, a convenience tax so hopefully we might just be able to shave some money off by just being a bit uh, taking some time to have a little look online so let's check it out so from the Volvo Penta specialist that happened to be on site at the marina our total costs were for a new anode 6595 the O-rings go inside with £1.16. We need another three litres of oil, which was £40.80. The shaft seals, which we needed two of, came to £86.40. And then the labour for someone to do all this work for us came to £240. And so just having a look online, we managed to find the anode that we needed for £35, uh, the O-rings for £88, so a little bit of a saving there. 3 litres of oil for 24.48 and the shaft seals, two of which came to 54.86 and the labour of course is free. Mm -hmm. um, so that brought the grand total here on the Volvo Penta side to £434.31p and then the total online came to £115.00. And 22p, which gives us a total potential saving of 319 pounds and 9p, which will make me happy. Let's give it a go. Now that was much easier to get off, mainly thanks to Rob, I believe it was, who came down to help me get this loose in the first place. So. Thanks again, Rob, superstar. The first thing I need to do is take the dipstick out of the top of the sail drive, and then we can unscrew the, the screw, I guess. Unscrew the screw at the bottom of the sail drive to release the oil, and then we can proceed. So I was about to pour the oil into a bucket, and I was gonna dispose of it around the corner in a, in a, in a suitable disposal, oil disposal unit, of course. Then I realised I really wanted to check the oil as it came out to look at the colour of it so that I could make sure that there were no indications of anything potentially being wrong. I didn't have a clear, anything clear to put a decent amount in and then it occurred to me. Not sure that really looks too healthy. So after removing all the oil from the sail drive and then taking the propeller, the boat propeller off, taking the whole thing apart, I needed to then go and jog my memory a little bit to remember exactly how to get the bearings and the seals out of the, the, the face of the sail drive. I'm, I obviously don't know if that's the correct technical term for it, but the bit I just took off, I couldn't remember how to take that all apart. Um, it all seemed a bit stiff, so I, I decided to go and jog the old memory. Now I did run into a little bit of a stumbling block getting the bearing and the seals out uh, of the face of the, say again, I don't know the technical name, but I did, I couldn't get them out. And didn't matter how much I was, maybe the heat gun I was using perhaps wasn't powerful enough, wasn't hot enough, or maybe the wind that was coming in over the top of the hill was cooling the metal back down too fast. Uh, perhaps I just didn't heat it up for long enough to get it out. But either way, I couldn't get the seals out, I couldn't get the bearings out. So I had a bit of a think overnight and I came up with an idea that I think, I think this may actually be my own tiny little contribution to the process of servicing the sail drive. Check it out. 
Right, so day two of attempting to fix and service the sail drive. I'm struggling here getting this little, this this piece of metal out here, the inner bearing or the bearing race, I think it is. So I tried heating up the outside, cooling down the inside to get it out. I can't get it out and I need to get it out in order to get the shaft seals out. And so uh, I could probably just take it to the Volvo Penta guys and I'll just do it with a little tool, I'm guessing. But I don't like the idea of being defeated by this. So I've got another plan which involves sitting it upside down, putting it in an oven so it's, it's held up and hopefully the oven will heat the whole thing on the outside because I think this is supposed to be quite a lot harder than, if I've understood it correctly, than the outside layer. So that will still expand and if it's held up, I'm hoping if we just put it in the oven it will fall out. So this, this is what I'm setting up here. So we're gonna have, gonna, Roast it. Let's see how that goes. It smells cooked. It smells like it smells like the rubber's burning actually. Oh get it son. Let's turn that off. Whoa. How long would you say that's been in there for? 25 minutes, 25 minutes on gas mark six. Yeah. <laughs> 30 minutes. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now that we've cleaned everything up and got all the new bits, I'm gonna try and, try and put it all back together again. And one of the first things we need to do is put the new seals. I've already started putting one in. Back in here back to back if the video I've watched is correct just cleaning the crud off of this nothing particularly sophisticated just scraping off, just scraping off the just scraping off the skank really back in the way they came out this is the bit we had to we, this is the bit we had to heat the oven up for to get it to pop out and so sh I'm told it should pop back in with not too much difficulty uh, so let's try it I was going to say, what do you think the chances are of Volvo, some Volvo Penta enthusiast watching this just going, what are you doing? Back in the engine! <laughs> Highly likely. <laughs> yeah, this is my first attempt at mechanics, so... Uh, help with a few videos and whatnot, but other than that, I'm flying by the seam of my pants. <laughs> does, that fill you, does that fill you with um, optimism for when we're out No, sea? not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Confident when this goes back in the water? <laughs> sure. Should I be worried? <laughs> uh. Okay, so I don't think that went too, too badly. I think that unless anyone has seen something on there that I've done horrifically wrong, and then feel free to let me know in the comments. But obviously, I still need to strip off the main body of the sail drive as well as the propeller and then retreat them. But sadly, the whole COVID 19 whirlwind came in and took us out and has left us in quarantine before 
I can actually get that finished, so. Do you think everyone's seen enough of you today? <laughs> Don't know. Yeah. We're really lucky that we're all together here, and I know there's lots of you that are on your own, so feel free to chat away to us, because we've got plenty of time on our hands, and it'll be nice to keep everybody company. That sounds like a lovely sentiment. Yeah, use the comments for the video, not for the video, just for a bit of a chinwag. We've, we've, we've got plenty of time on our hands, I guess, so um, if you're feeling a bit lonely and you just want to chat with somebody about anything, nothing, then, you know, we, we are all in this together, so... Seems like a good place to leave it. Yeah. All right. See you soon. Take yeah, care. Guys. Stay safe. Stay safe.